Welcome everyone to my first tutorial about Unreal and more specifically Blueprint Networking. In this first video I'm just going to show you what are the purpose of the series of tutorials I'm going to publish. So it's this is the third, top, uh, third person uh, example, Blueprint example. So I just built the full uh, Blueprint Networking on it. I made it so both players can actually join a lobby and uh, travel through different level with each other. So I'm gonna hit play. Uh, so this is what we want. Two players in the same level. I, I picked the third person example because movements are already replicated in uh, multiplayer. When some, some blueprint templates just uh, don't have uh, multiplayer movements implemented. So for quick uh, for a quicker example, I pick this one. So here we have uh, two players. Uh, the server can actually create a lobby. So he's going to be teleported in the multiplayer lobby, as you can see. And the uh, client can now join the, this lobby using the join button. So after a short delay it's going to be teleported in the same level than the other one. So as you can see, this is, uh, yep, they are both in the same map. And then uh, we can make them travel through different levels using join level and join lobby. So if I click join level, the client's character is deleted first and both players are teleported to another level. And we can do this uh, multiple times if we, if we want. As you can see, each time the, play the client character is removed from the client first. So I'm going to show you real quick the different nodes I'm using to build this logic. So there's the session nodes that are available since the 4.6 version of Unreal, I believe. Uh, that allow us to connect player with each other. I'm using open level and execute console command using server travel level name. I'm going to explicit in details wha what are the purpose of uh, each of these nodes uh, in future videos. So in order to make player travel to different levels, I'm using these nodes. Uh, same, same way for open level, I'm using an option as listen. And to manage persistent fo information through different level, I'm using the game instance. That is an actor that is pers persistent through levels. So even if you are opening a new level, uh, you will still have the same game instance than the pre previous uh, level. So that's it for this video. Hope you like it and hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.